floss tube. Uh, my name is a Stitching Kiwi on Instagram. Um, I'm Caitlin. And I figured I wanted to do this for a while now. But haven't really... Didn't really have the courage to start. But I figured now's a better time than any considering I'm stuck at home yet again. And doing lots of crafts. So a little bit about me. My name is Caitlin. I live in New Zealand and I do a little cross stitching but on this channel you might find that I do some lip tricking, diamond painting and I'm trying crocheting but it's not quite working out so until I have something to show for that there will be nothing. A little bit about my history in crafting. Um, when I was young, I did quite a lot of lap chucking, long stitching, try cross stitching, and knitting. Knitting didn't quite work out, I gave up with knitting squares. Um, and I sort of took a break for most of my schooling until got to the end of the end of my year 13 and during the exams between exams and my, my school always went back after exams to do the graduation and all of that in that time I found a cross stitch and started it got a little bit into it went away to uni about midway through so at least by 2018, I'd gone into the diamond painting, which is still yet to be finished. First one, yet to finish, but I finished lots of others after that. And then in 2019, so maybe two years after that, I went to Russia. And there was a period of my time in life there that I was pretty much stuck in my room where I couldn't go out of Moscow um, but they had huge stores with a lot of cross stitching, diamond painting, everything and I got really into my diamond painting again and I saw some amazing cross stitches but I didn't quite have the... I wanted to finish the one that I'd started before if that makes sense. Needless to say I haven't actually finished that one, that is still a whip, and I'm wanting to finish it, get back into doing it, um, once I've finished one of my whips that I will show you soon. So, go back to the story. I did... So, Russia, I did lots of diamond paintings, I came back to New Zealand, and... You know, everything... That went on last year and this year I got a little bit more into my cross stitch. I wanted a small... My massive... Oh yeah, it's, it's a full coverage. I went oh, head first. Dove in head first into cross stitching again. And went quite... I got... I, I felt I needed a small thing to do. To finish and feel accomplished. And that sort of started off this track of about a year and a half now of stitching. While I was in Russia, I also picked up a latchuk, which I finished once I got back in New Zealand. And after that, I finished a couple more latchuks. Um, obviously, still got lots to do, as is the life here. In this community but with my stitching I finished a lot I started a lot and I bought a lot so I don't have very many whips so I won't do all of my whips in this first episode instead I'll just show them as I do them because they do get into the rotation Oh, rotation. I don't have a rotation. I stitch 
whatever I feel like stitching at the time unless it's a gift which at this time of year I will be starting some gifts for Christmas and birthdays and all the like also with my finishes what I have decided to do at least for the first few episodes the first few floss tubes I will be showing one or two finishes at a time um, on my past finishes as well as any other finishes that I have in that week because hopefully this is a weekly or bi-weekly at the most um, I currently do study so I work as well so it's a I'm hoping let's let's really hope that I can do this weekly I think it'll be quite fun to do each Tuesday I the day, I'm it's my first time I'm trying this and I'm giving it a go in one take so first finish that I would like to show for today is one I finished the past couple of weeks I want to say and that is my autumn dreaming it's, um, most of the stuff in New Zealand it's a lot easier to get things as a kit um, with the fabric and the floss and a needle as well um, occasionally a hoop um, just because of the difficulties in getting stuff shipped to New Zealand it's quite gets very expensive so a lot of what I do are kits um, and even when they're not I try to use the call for everything unless it is almost impossible to get it in so autumn dreaming I will post I will put all the information about it up in the down in the description below my next finish sorry for the rustling which I'm hoping to fully finish soon is my is a little word thing that I just decided to pull out um, I mean I did it in a day I think last week or week before and that is my I'd agree with you but then we'd both be wrong my mood a lot of the time um, so yes that is a dimensions kit again with all the dimensions floss and it's not quite finished at the back yet but it will be soon, I hope. Um, my next one, sorry for the rustling. My next one is a, probably my, one of my proudest finishes to date. And that is my Our Forest Northern Land, which took, I started this on the first of the year. And I finished it. 31st of August at 11.58pm <laughs> I was desperate to finish it and I don't know how I managed it but I managed to do 40 odd percentage percent of it within a weekend um, the last four days that I was stitching it I was it, it was my first time using variegated floss and where I started you can tell I didn't quite know how to work it but I did know by the end I had a way to um, I, ha I had a way to work it so I could stitch it my way um, so those are my recent finishes as I said I will have a lot I have a lot more to show and I'll slowly show them as I go fully finishing I don't do as often um, I mean I have a plan for Northern Land um, with finishing it with its counterpart the Southern Land um, but I'm only doing that one next year so that won't be finished anytime soon. So on to my 
works in progress but that I have been working on for the past couple of days um, for the past couple of weeks um, besides the other one and my first one is Snow Splashes Wolf a kit by RTO um, which I'm desperate to finish and that is right here um, so the needle minder uh, is a crazy cat lady, lady I love cats um, and I'm someone who does like to colour complete or I do cross country. If I have a thread of colour then I will keep working with that colour until I've run out of space on the frame, on the hoop um, or I just run out of the, uh, the stitches for that colour. So that is my first one, that is the one I'm desperate to finish so I can put my full coverage on the Q-snap and finish that one because I so want to finish my wolf um, a different wolf, they were wolves but that one's a different wolf my next one is a stitch along that I think some of you probably have might have seen in others um, in other floss tubes and that is the cryptid stitch along which I'm kind of finished halfway the border um, or at least the black for 310 and my the first cryptid which is Mothman who I've never heard of before um, still don't really know much about but as you can see I am a colour completer <laughs> um, I'm doing all the black first and then going through with the colour I'm not too sure whether to keep the cryptids as just plain 310 or do something with them um, same with the names I'm not too sure whether to do that either but they'll happen eventually the needle minder is an our forest one I have a lot of them <laughs> kind of went a bit crazy with their needle minders especially if they're going to be sending a package over here may as well truck in a couple of needle minders because you can never have too many needle minders um, so that is cryptids by from witchy stitcher uh, that I hope to kind of keep up with my next whip that I started this past week is my I haven't done much on it yet I hope to do a little bit more uh, it's a lot of fun to stitch on the colors are absolutely gorgeous on them um, it is a Riolis kit so these are the colors there we go, those, those, those colours, um, I love blues, I love the turquoises, um, but even the reds in that go well, work really well with the other colours. Um, so this is another kit, it's Riolis uh, Sakura Pagoda, yeah that's it, I haven't had much of a start with it, it's only really the tiny middle I am a center starter um, I very rarely start on the edges or in the corner unless there is a need to I can't remember who I got like where I got this needle minder but it is my favorite it is it's sparkly and with the beads that go on this um, I think it just worked really well so that is Sakura Pagoda. I... So I'm just putting everything away as I go or else it will be a complete mess. My last whip is my birthday start for this year. And it is Adriana's... Kingdom of Books. I fell in love with when I saw it and I just thought 
it's gonna have to be the one I start on my birthday. So not much has been done on it. I try and do a little bit each month on it. Um, but as you can see, it is a very big piece. I don't even know if I can fit the whole thing in. Um, of which I've only really done the middle half of the, um, like just over the gate. So if you see in this, it's like the gate. I've just done a little bit of that part. And that's as far as I've gotten, and I'm perfectly happy with that. The needle minder is again one of my favourites. Um, it's my how to make friends with humans. I feel. I feel like that encapsulates me a lot. So that is all I had planned to say for this first floss tube. If you have any comments or questions, I will try and answer one or two questions that you, any of you guys have each video um, in the next one, which will hopefully be next Tuesday, 14th of September. Um, so, thanks and see you next time. Bye!